This week on John Thielen's Destination Fish, we start by chasing walleyes on a bumpy late summer day on Mille Lacs Lake. Some days, the conditions dictate how you can fish, and today is one of those days. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Phil Floats and Alumacraft Boats. Well, I'm down, John. Here we go. Oh, we got that one right under the boat that you were marking. I don't know how big he is, but... to show you, they don't, they don't all spook. But it's nice to be able mm. to see them like that. Not a, ton, not a giant. Oh, a he's a fine star. Oh, what, are, what are you talking about? He's telling me that, I, I don't know, I don't think he's very big. Look yeah, at that. That's awesome. That's a great way to start. 18, 19 entry. Malax Lake today. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to fish late summer. And when I say late summer, I'll, I'll tell you, we're, we're talking the August time frame now. And we're fishing in a way that in the old days, nobody really thought of anymore. We were all trolling crankbaits yeah. by this time of the year. But with the advent of these Humminbird Mega Lives and all the live units out there, we're able to see fish, even though they scatter out a little bit on edges of structure and bobber fish. And that's what we're going to talk about today is just how to use this unit how to use this technology, find fish, and we're gonna show you exactly how to do this. There he goes. Look at that. Yeah. That right there is exactly Ooh. what makes this so effective. <laughs> Good fish. Yeah. I mean, Pat literally said, right there, there he is. And I set the rod down for just a second because I was going to mess with something else and right after I cast and down it went. I mean that fast. It is so cool because you start using all of this stuff and you realize how effective it can be. And I'm going to tell you, this is not a great bite right now. We've hit that slow down point of the year. So we're having to work for fish, but I'll tell you what. That's a if nice we, one. Yeah, it is. We'll if we pick away at them. Right, and if we couldn't see these fish and know exactly where they are and what they're doing, I don't think we'd catch no, them. No, they won't uh, move I mean, 10 feet to eat. Right, they gotta put it right in front of their nose right now this time of year. Right, because they are so full. They have so much to eat this time of year. Set it in front of their face. Look at that. What a pretty fish. Yeah. That's good stuff right there. Ooh. There she goes. <laughs> That's good stuff. That is good stuff. Let me show you what we're using here because this is the best balsa float that you can buy. It's a fill balsa float, but here's the big deal. This is the wobble bobber. And when it comes to casting for fish, this thing casts further than anything out there. And it's a combination of two things. One, it's the balance and the weight and the fact it has no stem. So it's the construction of it, but also on the front end of it, and the back end, you have brass grommets. So here's the thing. I can actually aim this float. When Pat says 20 feet out there, I don't have to float it up in the air to get distance. I can fire it. And that makes a big difference. The other thing I'll tell you is earlier in the year, let's take June when the fish were more aggressive, good chance I'd be fishing a little bit bigger float, okay? And here's why I might be doing that. Those fish are so aggressive that it's not gonna bother them. Today I'm fishing the quarter ounce on all of these wobble bobbers. It tells you the weight that it's gonna float, okay? Then it's real simple below that. I've just got a single split shot. Don't use two, you use two and they get going like this when you fire that cast. That's how they get over the top of the bobber and tangle it up. And then down on the bottom, 16th ounce Lindy Live Bait Jig. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't care what I'm doing. Whether I'm casting and retrieving, whether I'm bobber fishing, Lindy Live Bait Jigs, I mean, they just flat out catch fish. It's a short shank, wide gap hook, and it puts you in a position of when that fish bites it, you're gonna be able to get them hooked. So this setup right here for casting in the wind, I'm gonna tell you what, I don't think there's anything better. You set that up right there along with the way we're fishing today and you're gonna be successful doing this. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by these fine sponsors. All right, we'll give this one like three count. One, two, I mean, the screen three. Is decent size. Got him. <laughs> Got him. 
Gave him just a second longer that time. You know what? I don't think he's a giant, but we'll see. Yeah, he's getting a little bit bigger. All right. Finally hooked him. Good finicky line. sucker. Good fish. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, nice. Perfect. I'll grab him right out of there. That's fun stuff. So let me explain to you a little bit of how we're doing this. And Pat can jump in here too because he's over here now. We, we, we're just taking turns running that live unit. And basically, what we're doing is we're using all of our equipment. In fact, we're using everything we got on this boat today. <laughs> and I'll tell you, it's one of those days that you need to. It's a great walleye right there. It's an awesome fish anywhere you go. So what we're doing is we're using the spot lock and the jog feature. And what we're doing is we're just setting up and then we'll, you know, we'll look around with the Mega Live. When we see fish, we'll cast to them. We'll sit on each little area for 15, 20 minutes based on how many fish we're seeing. And then all we're doing is moving with the spot lock, you know, cause you can move in five foot increments in jog feature. And we're just moving left along the top edge of this flat, okay? So we're moving 20 feet at a time, we stop, we use the Mega Live, we look around, try to find those fish. As soon as we find them, we cast to them. And you know, here's the thing. We're not catching a ton of fish. In fact, Pat got one earlier right under the boat. That one there, I had to be 30 feet out to the side. So ultimately, we're just working our way along here in increments. We take that Mega Live, we look around. If the fish are there, we cast to them. If we don't, we keep moving in those five foot increments. And if you do that, you can actually pick a structure apart pretty fast and you can make sure that you get that crack at the active fish that you see. Oh. Can't believe he let it go. Oh. You down? Yeah, he's down. I was telling that big wave. <laughs> you know what? Woo. I couldn't tell either. <laughs> well. And the farther away they are, the harder you gotta set that hook that, with this mono. That fish right there, that's the 50 foot 50 away foot fish. Of Yep, no doubt about it. Saw those fish on live. Mm. You know what, that fish was out there. Mm. Yeah. Man, and see, that's oh, the kind of right thing. Now, it. here's a great example. What would you do right now without that mega live when you're sitting in four footers, three footers, four footers, and you can't see, over here, over here, there you go. And you can't see with your sonar, you know what I mean? He, Right now, the only thing I can really do is park this boat and right. get it and just sit and look around and try to find where some of these fish might be. That's an That's awesome a beauty. fish. That is a beauty. Probably gonna eat that now that it's a 20 inch he's, line he's on the line. probably close, but today he gets a he gets, yeah, he gets to go back. <laughs> I got a lot of slack up there. <laughs> there it is, got him. That fish had swam back toward me a bit. I had a lot yeah. of slack out there, and you know it gets hard in this wind. I mean that. Look, that's one of the biggest the side a little bit. You right? get that bowl in it. It's, you got to eat up that slack. Feels like a pretty good fish, buddy. Oh yeah, good eye. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh we took a diver. You want ready? Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. That's all right. <laughs> Nice. Look at with some attitude. There's a Look nice at that. One, baby. So round two. Right after a storm, you would never think it either. No, and you know and what? I said to Pat, we're sitting at Isaiah's, and I said, I'm gonna tell you right now, they ain't gonna bite again. <laughs> boy, was I wrong, and boy, am I happy I was wrong. But let me tell you something. Back behind <laughs> us, what's coming is big, <laughs> and we're gonna get out of here. This time, I think we're gonna say that's been yeah, fun. I'll we'll tell you what, though. Call it a day, Look huh? at that. What a great walleye. Man, if you're looking to add one thing, if you could pick one thing to add to your boat, whether you're buying a new one, buying a used one, and you're looking at what extra could I add to a boat that's gonna help me catch fish, this Humminbird Mega Live, I'll tell you what, this is the real deal. You've gotta be able to do what we're doing. You gotta be able to park, and you gotta be able to see fish and get your bait to them, because you're not gonna drift over these fish and be able to make a bite. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna add one thing, that Mega Live's a real deal. John Thielen's Destination Fish has been brought to you by these great sponsors.